Dizzy, Dizzy TV and the podcasts and the radio are fantastic. They really impact on my children's work, especially when we uh, look at it at home. If they've been filmed at school and it's been put on the website or on Doodle, um, they'll come back and tell me and say what they've been doing. I can see what they've been doing at home. Um, uh, it's, it makes them feel so proud. I think when he's worked in a group and as part of a team and they've done script and playwrights and he's had a part to read out, again, a lot of it here, for him is his, is his confidence. When he first joined us, he had um, quite a bad stammer um, and that has completely gone. And I'm sure that's through his confidence building. He's able to search and find those words and use them more readily. So that's helped with him, him with him speaking out loud, practising on the radio. Well, um, my daughter did a podcast and um, before she did it she was really nervous um, but afterwards she felt so confident and then she was really proud of what she did and then the brilliant thing was was um, she got to do some writing about the podcast afterwards and uh, I think her writing's really improving. I was thinking, oh, how am I ever going to learn to, to use all of that sort of stuff, that equipment, while also concentrating on my NQT here and the sort of teaching and learning type of things. But actually, the training that I received... I was really friendly, really useful. Um, I had opportunities to actually go and use the Macs, use the camera to actually get a feel of it before I took it into the casting, which was quite a daunting, you know, experience. But you know, once you feel confident with it, and then you take it in the classroom, it, it's you know fantastic. So actually, it was a mixture of feeling a little bit scared about, you know, am I going to be able to use the equipment, but also excited because I knew that when you know I was able to use the equipment, I, I think I could maximise its its use. It made me feel good about myself because. Everyone said I did good and I think I did good too. Which, can you tell me about the podcasting you did? It was really good yeah. and it was about a family tree and, yeah. and it went to a big number all the way back and, and, and it, was it really didn't go over 1,000 but it did go over some 100 stone. And what happened to your podcast? Uh, it's still on the website. Tiny thing. But, but but the problem is we don't know where our family tree is. Oh okay. And with did you listen to the podcast at home? Yeah. yeah. Who with? Uh, me and Daddy, Grand and Granddad, and Nan and Granddad. And is there anything else you use the website for? Uh, uh mm. listening to yeah. bedtime and, story. And well, normally we listen to dance. And we did um on the website we used the club. Practice. It's good because um, when we're doing the school plays, instead of standing up on the stage, um, that could be a bit boring. It's good because you're on the big screen and you're still good to be part of it. Okay, and do you like standing up and doing plays? Not really because um, I'm a little bit shy, but it's better to be on the big screen. It's it's not just, you know, I guess the light at the end of the tunnel for them. It's kind of, it's mixed into their curriculum and they have opportunities to use it, you know, in maths, in, in literacy, in, you know, across the curriculum. Um, so they're able to sort of really think about their learning in a more critical sense, I guess, and thinking about good opportunities where TV and radio would be, you know, an effective way of showing their work. Um, with the children, you can see like the ones who lack confidence, you see them come alive as soon as they come see on the camera filming and you can see the difference in like their personality from like, how they would be on stage. As soon as they're on in front of the camera they just become different. And also it's team working as well. Because if they've been asked to film like, I don't know, a group chat or something like that, you can see them like working with each other and if they see someone struggling, they'll obviously as they know the camera's rolling, you can see them helping each other out giving each other little prompts, so yeah, it's been pretty good. For me it was really easy getting to use the system, but I think everyone should be trained to do it because it definitely helped me boost my memory and it helped me with lots of other stuff as well. So in assemblies you get to watch some films of like what people have done and because sometimes people do like a mini act in like foundation stage in the cute <laughs> them and they get shown on the television and they just feel really proud of themselves and it's great. Yeah. She felt really proud of me. She 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 like 
she kept framing me. It got a bit embarrassing sometimes. So. so what would you say to schools that are thinking about having the TV and the radio? I would say definitely do it. It boosts children's confidence. It boosts um, how they speak to other people. Um, it base it changes what their approach to to their, themselves to other people.